My first band t-shirt was a Bowling for Soup um, t-shirt that had all the band members on it and I was hugely into punk rock when I was a teenager and um, they were just one of my favorite bands. Their songs are so catchy and they always had such funny lyrics and they were great live. Um, I went to see them in concert and actually got them all to sign the t-shirt and um, I still have it saved up in my attic. <laughs> Probably the album that I never ever get tired of listening to is the Beach Boys' Endless Summer, which is their greatest hits album. I grew up with the Beach Boys. Actually, my parents tell me that when I was a kid, the only song I would go to bed to was Surfer Girl. So, and if you listen to my music, it's very, very harmony heavy, and that's due to my love of the Beach Boys. So I would say that every time the weather starts to get warm, getting in my car and blasting that CD and um, just driving around is probably one of my favorite things to do and I don't think I will ever get tired of it. My worst stage nightmare is, there's two of them. The first one is forgetting the words. I, I don't get nervous about performing, about singing, about playing about meeting people or being in front of people, I only get nervous about forgetting the words. For some reason, that to me is just the scariest thing to just blank. And it has happened before, I've just kind of made up words on the spot or been like, okay, you sing. <laughs> um, and my second stage nightmare would probably be, and I've had nightmares, actual nightmares about this before, would be not being prepared. Like I've had, dreams where I'm on stage and like we never learn the song we're supposed to play, which I don't think would happen in real life. But I guess just not being ready for a show is something that makes me very nervous. And uh, But first and foremost, it's definitely forgetting the words. My first concert ever was actually the Spice Girls. <laughs> I was a huge fan when I was a kid, but it's actually kind of sad because um, Ginger quit the band the day before we had tickets to the show and I was devastated that they wouldn't all be there. Um, and then the, my second concert that I went to shortly after that was Richard Marks, who a lot of people don't know what an incredible songwriter he is, um, but he's penned hits for so many well-known artists, and um, I was very, very small, and um, he actually waved to my sister and I in the crowd, and that was such a huge moment for me because I was such a big fan growing up. I, I love his voice and um, his songwriting, and um, those were my first two concerts ever. My dream collaboration would be with Neil Diamond. I am a huge Neil Diamond fan. Um, I have been ever since I was a little kid. His voice is just so emotional and every time I listen to his music, I'm so inspired. Um, and he came from Brooklyn, I came from Brooklyn, so we kind of have that connection. And um, I actually got to see him in concert this past year. My husband took me, I think it maybe it was for my birthday. And um, he was just uh, amazing live. So total bucket list moment checked off. And to get to sing with him, being that he was such a big inspiration for me growing up, would really be a dream come true. Let's Don't is my brand new single. And I wrote it on a recent trip to Nashville with two amazing writers, Clay Mills and uh, Joey Ebach. And I specifically went into the session wanting to write a song about my husband and I. Uh, we've been married two years, and almost, and together eight. And the song is really just about when you have the right type of love and relationship, you don't need to go out and spend all this money on fancy dates or champagne or expensive gifts. You, you have the most when you just have each other. And even if you have nothing at all, sometimes your love is enough. So um, I went in with the concept and we just started kind of riffing off each other and uh, it just felt very special in the writer's room. So I'm really, really excited. Uh, the music video will come out shortly after and I can't wait for you guys to hear it. <laughs> 